But these look like your own business matters. They have nothing to do with me. So let's just say I still need your help. <sighs> the kibo you've asked and I've answered, nothing has changed. Amaka, everything has changed. Jude could have been killed. <laughs> What's this? Emotional blackmail? Of course not. <sighs> Can't you see? <sighs> see what? All that I have worked for, everything that I own is ultimately for the people who are dear to me. And the people who are dear to me are not many. One is lying in the hospital. The other two are in this house. Amaka, I'm an old, lonely man. I might not be around for much longer. You're going back to the farm? <laughs> A good one. No. But someone needs to be on top of things, to take charge, no matter what happens or when. But you will be around for a very, very long time. Jude will be back to health, and the two of you will be back together on good terms again. And everything will work out right. Well, uh, congratulations in order that this insemination work. I mean, you should know by now, right? Thank you. How did you do it? How did you get the hospital to do your bidding? It was just luck. Answer me. You want the truth? For your sake. Okay. I, um... I forged Faisal's signature to gain access to his sperm that was already in the hospital. Then I bribed some members of staff to um, make sure that his sperm was one of the samples selected as your random anonymous donor. So are we friends again? You're no longer mad at me? No. Yeah. Whew. That was a lot. I just have this very calm desire to rip you apart with my bare hands. I will, if you don't leave here in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs>